what you have to think about when you want to mix through a pair of mic preamps. Thank you for stopping by for another video and today I'm going to show you what you have to think about when you want to mix through a pair of mic preamps. It's a common approach these days to mix through a pair of uh, mic preamps just to add some analog warmth and to get rid of some uh, digital harshness and to add a little bit of saturation and in this example I'm using a PreSonos Studio Channel Strip two of them one for the left side and one for the right side and I would like to mix through them so this is a song of myself it's called Feel Free and I'm going to remix this one and at the moment it sounds like this So, and now I would like to insert my channel strips on the um, mix bus, which is now the pre-out channel right here. And first of all, I need to set up the external effects in Cubase. And therefore we go to studio, audio connections, external effects and add a new effect. I'll name it mix bus in a stereo setup. Um, I'm going to connect this with my interface which is the Steinberg UR44C and we're going out through the mix 2 left and right and we're coming back in through 5 and 6. So now I have connected my PreSonos channel strips to uh, Cubase and I can now insert this one on the pre-out channel which is now an external effects plugin mix bus this is what we have set up right now so now our complete mix is running through the um, analog gear and it sounds like this so as you have heard the complete mix is going wild it's hanging on the left side and it's absolutely not what we have expected and therefore we need to calibrate the analog gear on the mix bus and to do so I'm going to insert a test tone generator but first we're going to reduce the return gain because I don't want to blow up your ears with my test tone so where are the test tone tools test tone generator and I'm setting this to white noise you cannot hear it because of the return gain is low here it comes but um, I just want to use white noise to calibrate the channel strips. First of all we need to make sure they're both running the same input. Lower this by 10 decibels and the next what I need is a analyzer for the panorama. So now we have a test tone, we have our mix bus and we have the analyzer tool to find out where the signal is coming back in. It's more on the left side or more on the right side or exactly in the middle and we want to get it to the middle. So I'm going to bypass compressors and equalizer section first and just want to make sure our inputs and outputs are calibrated in a way that it's exactly in the center. So now we're going to add some saturation and as you can see when I bring in more saturation it's going to become a thicker signal and I need to add the same amount on both sides and I also want the signals at the same loudness with or without the external gear and now I'm going to run the whole mix through the analog gear. So now we have set it up, the complete mix is now running through both of the channel strips from three zonos um, and I've added some slight amount of uh, compression and some a little bit of uh, EQ and what that does is it brings in some analog warmth and it gets rid of some uh, digital harshness and also adds some more saturation and this kind some tube saturation from the uh, channel strips and it's the easiest way to add some analog gear into your mix when you just edit it on the mix bus we call it, um, 
just two pieces of gear. The both channel strips are not, uh, now affecting the whole mix because of the whole mix is running through them to make it sound a little bit more natural and a little bit more analog than digital. This is with the mix bus with the analog gear. Now the mix is running through the channel strips and without and with again. Um, the compression and the equalization from the channel strips is not linked to each other. So left and right side are acting independently and to me it just makes it a little bit more natural and not so not so not so cold and not so sterile. So this is an easy way to add some analog gear to your mix um, just add it through adding it on the on the mix bus. If there was something in this video you found helpful please help me and give it a thumbs up button and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and see you on the next video. Ciao!